previously on the formidable pickets. Great. Okay, so today you will be visiting the house of Rodney Hollabrook from the rock outfit, the Rock Spider. <laughs> no. Does it have a name? Yeah. Please tell me you have not bought anything off Rodney yet. How much? You got a good price for it? I'll give you ten bucks so I can fucking smash it outside. You may know a guy who... He may know some people that might want it. Take the fucking guitar and get the fuck out of my sight! Hi, my old man once said, one fella's junk is another guy's treasure. And boy, did he milk that horse. Now, I follow in his footsteps. I'm Scout McGuthrie, and I'm one half of the Formidable Pickers. Yesterday was a really rough day. Finding out one of your idols is a real piece of shit, especially after you buy his guitar called Little Timmy for an obscene amount of money and then sell it to some creeps for less than a tenth of what it's worth is really shitty. But I guess I'm going to take it in my stride and get back control. And I get back control by formulating a game plan and putting us in a position that's stronger than what we were at before. And that is how a picker works. Okay, team. Looking at our financial position. Your deals two days ago cost us 750. Yesterday, 19,000 from the electronic transfer. You made back 500 leaving us with 750 out of our original budget of 20,000. What's the plan? You know my plan. We cannot commit a murder to get our money back. Look, I have this under control. You know that. Yeah, I do. You always have it under control. It's always, Scout's gotta be in control. All right, Mr. Controller, let's hear it. Okay, this is what I think we do. I reckon we target places that sell stuff cheap and they actually have no idea about the true value of what they have. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Garage sales and op shops. Bingo! <laughs> Fucking hate garage sales. So much bullshit to sift through. Parents selling their kids crap. Their own parents crap. Their access crap. It's always messy and depressing. What are we doing today? is the sad hand job of the picking industry. I love garage sales. You literally get to sift through the remains of people's lives, learn their histories and their life stories. It is so inspiring. Plus not to mention they flog that shit off cheaper than they should. You know I'm the one that has to sift through all this shit when it comes here. I once found a dead rat inside an old diecast DeLorean. I couldn't get the smell out for weeks. You gonna be sober for this? Absolutely fucking not. Oh, look, I'm really sorry about the whole guitar thing. Look, I just got caught up in the moment and I made a mistake, okay? Look, my old man, he, he once said, mistakes could be the best decisions we could ever make in our life. And look, if I didn't go buy that guitar, we wouldn't be doing this today. Okay? Now, Rusty, this is how I get my control back, okay? I want my control back. Fine. Look, the 
It's going to be a tough one out there today, but I really expect a good hustle out of you. Will I get it? Sure. It's 9.30 a.m. <coughs> Fucking hate your scalp. So as you can see, garage sales mostly just have junk. But there's the odd occasion you can find a real treasure. So, the secret to it is, just having the courage, putting your hand into one of these boxes, and finding something special. Oh crap, those are real pearls. Huh. So the scout says, you have to be courageous. Just dip your hand in and find some shit. So, let's go look for some shit. Great. Found literal fucking shit. Literal shit. Mm. More shit. More shit. So I have Jenny with me today who owns this house. So Jenny, what do we have for sale? Well, we've got a bit of this, bit of that. Uh, just stuff I need to get rid of urgently, like ASAP. Uh, covered in shit. Uh, yeah, about that. Our son Thomas. Has issues. So look, anyway, uh, tell us what do you have here? Show me something of interest. Right, well, I've got lots of jewellery, heaps of my mother-in-law's old stuff, necklaces, rings, you name it, I got it. Holy shit, this is real sap. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, 150 bucks for the lot. It's 250. Throw in those suits, you got yourself a deal. Done. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. What the hell is going on, Judy? I don't think it's going on. That's my stuff. They're my suits. They're my family heirlooms. Oh shit! Whoa, 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 that is real bad. We should fix that up. I, I need to wash myself. Yes, you smell terrible. In fact, you smell like shit. Yeah, it's the baby shit from the shitty clothes that you made me buy. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll, we'll go fix you up. Anyway, pop shop time. So part of my job is to sit at this busted ass computer and scroll through websites and antiquity sites and sift through people's shit that they want to sell and my job sucks it sucks but it's easy and it's a good thing that we have these interns scout actually did find a loophole in the doll system where they work for free yeah and he gets paid for it they're a bunch of idiots they're so stupid doing? Do you guys want to get paid? Get back to work. And you, get back down there and do that thing to my feet. Chop, chop. Hmm. Rub those corns. How you feeling? Oh, up around there. Up around there. Fuck you. There, shove it in. Ah, oh, not too bad. There we go. I think you're all good to go now. I feel really lightheaded. All right, off to the op shop. I think I'm gonna pass out. 
Op shops are the greatest places for surprise finds. Seriously, the dimwits they got operating these places have no idea how much the value of this stuff is that's just sitting under their noses. It's fantastic. I think I should be in the hospital. This here is Miriam Jennings, one of the volunteers at Fullerton Hills Op Shop. How are you, Miriam? Good. Tell us a little bit about what you do here. Well, I run an op shop. I'm bloody hell, so what I do here? Well, obviously help the community through your charitable causes. Um, well, duh. Anyway, tell us what you have of interest today, Miriam. These fools don't even know it, but they've got a very, very rare first edition copy of Mark Twain's relatively unknown poetry published through an Australian publishing arm called Skipper Books. This thing is rare and worth a lot of money. Lucky us. But you can't afford that. <laughs> Look at the condition. It's terrible and... Are those bloodstains? Sorry. Look, it's, it's rare. It's a first edition. You should know better than that. $250 first and final offer. What's a price tag on it? 500 Well, that's what it is. <laughs> Miriam, honey. Look, even if you manage to sell this thing at auction, you get no more than 300 for it. That's even if you manage to restore it and uh, get rid of the blood stains. But look, I tell you what, I've got $300 right here. Imagine what this $300 could do for all your charitable causes. What about the children? We look after elderly people on the streets. Whatever. Think about what this 300 bucks could do for those grubby old people. Sorry to interrupt. I think the husband from before is trying to break into our car. Uh, shit! Now, look, that's yours. This is mine. Goodbye. You're banged! Again! Thank you. So, I called Jenny to find out where her husband Mike is currently staying. Supposedly his car is right near the park, which is right near her house. So, this is the plan. I think we should roll up to his car, kick in the windows, and just take our shit back. Rusty, I ain't fucking around. You in? Oh, I'm in. We need the cash. <laughs> wow. I wish I was coming with you guys. You can come. Oh, no, I've got plans. Please, Miss Jane. My hands... It hurts so bad. Get back down there and keep rubbing those corns. Get! Was he always down there? Yeah. Alright, there's his car. You ready? Ready. Wait, 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 wait. It's like he's going somewhere. Where? Uh, I don't know. I'll follow, but I'll keep it at a distance. It's locked. Ah, damn. We need the keys. And you bet he's inside the goddamn house. Let's follow him, get the keys, and get us done. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit! Fuck! What are you doing? Shh! What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? This is my house! My wife is upstairs asleep. My boss that stuck me today is also upstairs asleep. Mmm. I had the perfect alibi. You assholes came along here and fucked it up! Wait, 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 wait. Where's the shit you stole from us? My shit? Yes. But my stuff that my wife sold to you. No permission. It's my stuff and it's in my boot of my car. You give it to us. We were never here. What about that? We'll delete it. Yeah. No deal. Good doing business with you. Yeah. We'll be on our way. Okay. Shh. Hurry up. I'm about to get this thing ablaze. Scout, what we're doing is wrong, isn't it? Nah. It's business. And that's why we're the formidable pickers. Let's get our stuff.
All the while, not even mentioning the biggest code. Anyway, look, I just want to say a big thank you to those. What? You can't mention the biggest code. You know you can't talk about it. There's cameras here. All right, do you moist bitches want to take this outside? Yeah. Um, take it outside. Don't do this, guys. Uh, us two slim pickers, we don't take kindly to you two big mouths. And slim pickings here? Yeah. I know you guys are hogging all the good stuff. No, well, that's a ghost. We did not rehearse this. This is going against everything that we... I, I, you two are done!